Is your robot not moving straight? In this video, we'll teach you how to use the gyro sensor to get that perfect straight line movement in your Spike Prime app. Let's get started. Welcome back to Robo Codex, your go-to channel for everything robotics. Today, we're going to be getting into how to move straight using the gyro sensor inside your Spike Hub. Let's get rolling. Before we get started programming, we have to know what we're trying to achieve. Using the Spike Prime's built-in gyro sensor, we have something that tracks the precision of the robot's movement. This is crucial for pathfinding and obstacle navigation. Before we start programming, we also have to watch out for some things. Number one is secure connections. Make sure that every single cable on your Spike Prime is securely connected to your robot. Number two, calibration. Make sure that your hub is reset to zero at the beginning of every program. Number three, wheel alignment. Make sure that your wheels are connected to the motors as strong as possible so that there are no errors while driving. Number four is surface quality. Make sure you're on a flat surface that has been wiped down clean so that your wheels have grip on the surface. Next, open the Spike Prime app. We're going to click new project and make it a block project. You can name it whatever you want. Now let's dive into the programming. We'll follow a systematic approach to this Spike Prime block-based program. Step number one, reset your gyro sensor. Let's go into sensors and drag and drop the reset yaw angle to zero block onto our workspace. Step number two, movement motors. Let's go back into movement and drag and drop the set movement motors block to make sure that our motors are set up before starting our robot movement. Step number three, let's drag and drop the repeat until block into our workspace. Step number four, compute for air. Here, we will make a new variable and we'll name it air. This variable will be our yaw angle reading. And if our yaw angle reading is anything but zero, we will know that our robot is deviating and needs to adjust. Number five, compute correction. We'll go back into our, the variable tab and make a new variable called correction. This will be the adjustment from the deviation. We'll multiply this value by a proportional constant. This determines how much correction we will apply to each motor. Let's stop the video right there. So something I noticed that I should have gone into more depth was the proportional constant. So what this proportional constant does is it adjusts the target that you're trying to achieve because there's obviously a little amount of air in your robot because no robot is perfect. And what this does is it corrects for that air. So it changes your target angle to be a correction for that error in your robot. And this is obviously different for every robot. Here's an example of what happened when I tested my robot with this proportional constant set to five. As you can see, it did go kind of crazy. So you test this, change this constant a lot until you see your robot's moving at your desired accuracy. Step number six, adjust motor speeds. Move the move tank block or a similar block to adjust the motor speeds. And this will be based on the correction value in the variable we just made. Step number seven, here we'll go back to the top of the repeat until block. And here we'll make a condition for when this loop will be exited. For me, I want my robot to move forward 1000 degrees. Here's how I'm going to achieve that. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into more motors and we're gonna drag set relative position to zero. And for my robot specifically, I have to set it to be one of the wheels that is moving so that I can measure the degrees that that wheel has tracked. And then after that, we're going to go into operators and drag out a greater than block. This block will dictate if our motor has gone over a certain amount of degrees. We're going to change the number in it to 1000. And then we're going to go back to the more motors section. And we're going to drag and drop the relative position block into the operator. We're going to set the motor to D again. And then we should be done. Just always remember to add the stop moving block at the end of your program. With our code ready, upload it to our robot and click start. Watch as your Spike Prime robot moves in a straight line. How it adjusts to keep moving in that straight line and accomplish its goal. Making real-time adjustments to stay on course. If your robot isn't moving perfectly straight, check these common issues. Make sure your wheels are parallel to each other and the same size. Make sure to test on a flat surface that has been wiped down clean and there's no dust that could make your wheels grip unstable. Before we wrap up, I want to take this moment to thank all of you guys for hitting 
the 100 subscriber goal mark. I'm so happy and grateful that I've been able to reach this and I want to keep making videos for you guys. I remember the promise I made. I will get this Spike Prime video tutorial series done by the end of the year. I'm also thinking about making a Python series. If you guys have any more ideas for what I could do next year or if you want FTC tutorials or anything like that, make sure to leave your video ideas down below. If you have any questions or problems that might have come up in your programming, leave them down below too. I will answer all of them. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more robotics tips. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials. Thanks for watching. Yeah, cut, 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 cut.